So it's been a while since I've made a video over here and I thought today we could talk a little bit about it. Far enough away from things happening that I feel like it's okay to talk about. I've been debating making this video for about a month now. I don't know if it's a smart move or if it's something I should just ignore, but I kind of feel like it's something that I would prefer to talk about. I think it's important to talk about and it's a side of creative life on the internet that I feel like sometimes just is ignored because it can be kind of common and normal and I don't think it should be. So ultimately I've decided that I'm gonna talk about it. As you can tell from the title I have been having some stalker problems. This isn't the first time that I've dealt with this. This happened when I first moved into the city um, um, almost three years ago now. And at the time, I was kind of naive, um, growing up rurally and in a really tiny community and in the woods, showing out my window was not something I even ever thought about. And so when I moved to the city and I set up where I wanted to film and share all of my creations, I put it in front of my window because that's how I like to create. It's inspiring to me. I like the natural light. It makes me happier to be by a window when I'm doing the things that bring me joy. And I didn't at all think about how that would exactly pinpoint where I lived. In the country, it would be impossible to figure out where I lived because it was just trees. But here, there are very clear, defining landmarks. And when this first started, when people figured out where I lived, for the most part, it was all very friendly in the beginning. Um, I mostly got sent gifts. They were very thoughtful and kind, um, and it wasn't anything with malice. At first, I was a little bit alarmed because I hadn't willingly given out my address, but eventually it, it felt okay. But in time, there were some issues with people who were upset because I, I wasn't responding to their gifts and I think they were offended. Um, I, I didn't want to confirm my address by giving a response and I think that they were hurt and so there were some scary moments in there but ultimately nothing grew beyond the things I received in the mail and there were only a few things. and those comments made. I moved away from that apartment, um, I went back to the cabin, and then I found the building that I live in now. And I fell in love with this place. As you know, I have lived in three different apartments here, and it just, it's my home. It's not going to be my home forever by any means, but it has been for a time now. And for most of the time living here, I, I learned my lesson. I put up curtains immediately when I first got here and started filming. That is my first step in getting into any apartment is to block the windows so that I can have some privacy. But that only goes so far. Um, I. I know when people recognize me when I'm walking outside, I have some very recognizable dogs. Um, a white German Shepherd and even just a regular German Shepherd aren't very common sights when you live in a city and they're distinct. So it kind of is a confirming factor if I'm out with them that it's me. Most of the time it's fine and I, it's, it's very strange to me because I don't think of myself as somebody that's recognizable uh, in public. And most of the time it's funny, it's sweet. It's people who just like, they look and they don't stop looking and they look a little too long. And then if I look over and they, they pretend not to look, but they look right back. Um, it's, it's very sweet. I don't ever know what to do in that situation. I promise you I'm a normal person. If you see me walking around, I'm just like you. I just create videos um, and they've historically had traction, but that, doesn't make me any different really. I just just normal, living my life, doing my things. But I know that it feels different. And I've had some instances of people filming me on the street, which I don't really love that. It feels very invasive and a little scary. 
um, especially because I, I feel like it's really taking away my privacy and I'm, I'm usually walking my dogs and I don't know, it just, it just kind of takes away the peace of having that outside time with them. But there hadn't really been anything beyond those kinds of things. Um, everything was very separate and far away over the last few years of either being recognized or um, when people did know where I lived, it was it was still separate until end of October and November. There was one instance this summer that did freak me out a little bit. It still could totally be unrelated, um, but I, I'm gonna mention it just because it stuck in my head. Um, there was somebody who tried to break through the front door of my building in the middle of the day. It was assumed to try to you know, steal things, which is not probably the more likely scenario, but it did freak me out and because the rest of this stuff happened not too long after that, um, it's just worth mentioning to me. Yeah, things got a little bit scarier. Uh, it started, it was late at night and I was at home with my dogs just hanging out. I was, it had been dark outside for hours at that point and I was just kind of cozy in my home and uh, someone came up to my door and tried the knob like aggressively and for a while, I mean, it was probably only five seconds before the dogs started barking and freaking out, rightfully so, I was very alarmed. And once the dogs started barking, it stopped. Um, I looked through my peephole, I didn't see anyone. I grabbed one of the dogs and went into the hallway and didn't see anyone. I called um, one of my friends in the building and they went and looked through the whole building. At the time, I thought somebody just had broken in maybe and was trying to open other people's doors to see if they could get in. But because they were gone so fast and because of what happened in the next week, um, I'm not so sure of that anymore. It was alarming. Um, when that happened, I decided that it was time that I got a camera for my home, which I have been against and I've not, I, I really didn't want to do that for a very long time. Ultimately now I'm glad that I've decided that and now I have multiple. It's brought a lot more peace of mind and since I put them up, nobody has pulled anything. So it, they've served as a good deterrent as well, among some other things, but anyways. So that happened. I didn't think too much on it in the moment. Was a little freaked out by it. Hadn't ever had that happen here before, but you know, it's a, it's a possibility. And then the next week, um, I took the dogs for a walk. At, at the time, I had a very regular schedule of when I would walk them and it was just built into my work day. And there was a 20 minute period in the middle of the day that was the same time every single day that I do not do anymore because of this. And when I came home, somebody had tried to dig out the deadbolt of my door to my apartment. And there's a big dent in it. And that for sure wasn't there when I left. Um, when I saw that, I put the dogs inside, I checked my whole home, and then I went and looked at everybody else's doors in the building, and it was only my door that had that. And my door is not close to the front door. It, it's definitely not the first apartment that you would pick if you were trying to get into an apartment. It would be unlikely for it to be an act that wasn't very intentional to get into my apartment. And since nobody else had them, that really freaked me out. And because of the moment the past week where somebody tried to get through my door, I just was very uncomfortable <laughs> and then advanced the protections I have in my home to keep people out. This was really scary. God, it, I had some of the worst anxiety that I've experienced since I was a child and really struggled with it. I, I haven't had this anxiety for a decade, maybe more. And I was just terrified. I called my landlord and then the managers and everybody and alerted everyone to what was happening and put up more precautions and uh, got a baseball bat which I think is a little funny, but 
And, you know, I have my German Shepherds. I know if somebody got into my home who wasn't supposed to be here, they would not be here long. But I don't want that to happen, period. And it just was really, really scary. So when this happened, I kind of put down making the videos like this because I was just scared. My days were just kind of filled with a lot of anxiety and I didn't leave my house for a long time. Um, the intro of this video was the first time I left my house and I don't know what, it had maybe been three weeks. I still haven't really left. I don't, I'm uncomfortable to go far away from my home and it's all just very scary still. But it's been a while since anything happened. I feel good about this setup that I have. There were a couple other scary things that happened that I don't really want to get into um, oh, through those weeks, but yeah, anyways, um, it's just been kind of a freaky time. So I stopped creating over here. I did continue on the other channel because those videos I can kind of separate my personal life from a little bit more. They are tied to it, of course. They're tied to the seasons and my practice, but they're not as full of more the, of the raw elements of life. They're more teaching, and so I felt like I could continue with that safely emotionally, but creating over here felt scary, and creating over here is something that I really enjoy, and it's where I want to share things that bring me a lot of joy, and at the time I just, I couldn't really bring myself to do much other than just kind of <laughs> hunker down in my home and be kind of scared, which doesn't make for great <laughs> videos here. But lately I've been really missing this aspect of creating and I feel like there's a void that this fills for me that I've been really working on getting back to just after burnout and all those other issues of things. And so to have it stripped away right as I was starting to find joy in it again has not been my favorite, but I'm determined to not let that be a continued thing. So here we are. This still isn't fully resolved. Um, I have some ideas um, on some of the things, but since I've taken some measures, it hasn't hasn't been an issue. And so starting to feel a little bit better and a little less anxious about the situation. And so I feel like it's time to come back. But because of this, I feel like it will impact how I create here for at least a little while longer. I, I still don't really like to leave as much and there's just just a few differences in how I am conducting myself and so I thought it was important to talk about for that reason and also for the fact that I don't think this should be a silent matter. I know this happens to a lot of other people who share their lives on the internet and even though I have taken all of the possible precautions that I feel like I could, it stills happening and I don't think that's okay or fair. I know that it can sometimes feel like content creators aren't real people or I know that we develop our, we have these deep relationships with them, with with each other and kind of, but you know, you've, you've been following this story for a very long time and I understand how connected you can be and feel. There are just, I think, ways that are better to conduct that than trying to break in the people's homes. It's scary and not something that I want to deal with or would wish on anybody. So yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to close this out because it isn't fully resolved, but that's where I'm at and I needed to say this before I could move on and uh, continue creating as normal. I. Um, <laughs> I've been very nervous to make this video and I'm still feeling really nervous making it. I think it just makes it a little more real and I've been able to pretend that it's not sometimes. But all in all, as of right now, things are better and I'm okay, my dogs are okay, everyone in my life and world's okay, and my home is okay. I'll keep you updated if anything else happens, um, but fingers crossed that it won't and yeah, I guess that's kind of all I've got for you today. I am really excited to get back into creating, so I will be sharing more very soon. And sorry that this is kind of a bummer, 
but sometimes life's a bummer and I also think that's okay. It puts a lot of things into perspective. It's reminding me of all the things that I love and have been missing and I'm hoping that this will give me some more confidence to get back to those things. Thanks for watching if you made it all the way to here and I will see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.